So yeah, um, let's crack on, shall we? So before I f uh, really move on, did we collect the monkey? We didn't collect the monkey. It's a little too late to head downtown. Oh. I think I'll stay in Venice. I've also fixed the font, as you've noticed. I had to use a font scaler. Um, I had to open up something called Font Forge, uh, download it off the website, open up the font in that, scale it down to 80%, and I had to change the menu fonts as well to a different font file because the one that it was using it wouldn't scale properly. Um, so I had to oh, I had to overwrite the one it wants to use with a different font, you know, and save it as the old as the other font file's name. Backed everything up just in case it didn't work, but it worked. But I can't go back. I wanted to go back and collect the monkey. Oh no. All right, so let's go to the park. I'm pretty sure all we do now is head back to the, uh... Oh, we could have gone to the bridges from there anyway. But anyway, yeah, we need to head back to the, uh, the thingy house, the guest house, where she stays. Maybe let's go to the cafe, see what's going on. To Charlie. Pulling long hours today, Charlie? Unfortunately, yeah. Are you staying for the show tonight? What show? You don't know who's playing? I've had a few other things on my mind these past few days, Charlie. Sorry. Anybody good? Anybody good? Are you kidding? Roy and Dale's playing. It's the first gig on their new tour. Sort of returning to their roots before they do the big venues. Tonight? Great, that's perfect. Especially tonight. I need some serious unwinding. Yeah? What's up? Oh, didn't we make plans to go out on a date with Zack, though? I remember this now. You get to choose whether to stay here or go on the date with Zack. Either way, he's pissed. <laughs> so, it doesn't end well. Uh... Let's tell him. I just had the weirdest experience of my life. Weirder than what happened here last night? Mm -hmm. Much weirder, trust me. I mean, what happened here could be explained. A hologram, rapture gas, mass suggestion. That's stretching it a little, don't you think? What, rather than the alternatives? That we're all either going crazy or that something's breaking through from another world? You don't think that's stretching it? I don't know what I think, April. I just know that sometimes there are things lurking in the shadows that can't be explained by science. That the world holds more mysteries than we think. Maybe. So what's this thing you were going to tell me about the weirdest experience of your life? You wouldn't believe me anyway, Charlie. Mm. Okay. Try me. No, really, I can't. It's too much, too close. I don't know if I believe it myself. Okay. You tell me about it later then, all right? Maybe. Is Emma around? Haven't seen her. She knows about the show, so she'll be here. When does the concert start? In less than an hour. I expect the place to be crowded soon, so you should find yourself a spot to sit down. Thanks, Charlie. No problem. Later. Hmm. So we can go into the cafe and maybe watch the show. Oh, can we talk to Stan? Oh. I guess we're going here first. I wanted to go to the border house. <laughs> Should have probably done that first. Let's see if there's anything we can talk so about there. You didn't show up at school, you weren't at work, and then Fiona tells me you're out looking for Cortez again. And on top of that, Zach brags about bagging a date with you. What's up with that? Oh, shit. Zach, I totally forgot. He's gonna kill me. If I don't show up, that is. <laughs> he might kill you if you, you mean do. It's true? He's a bit creepy. You have a date with that asshole? I told him he was full of shit. I needed some information. And you sell yourself to get it? April, you're insane. Well, you're just going to have to disappoint him. 
I made a promise. To that sleaze bag? That's a promise made to be broken. <clears throat> a promise is a promise. I have to go. Commendable, but incredibly misguided. He's only after one thing, you know, and that's sex. He can forget about that. I'll go, but I'm only staying an hour. I'll tell him I'm tired or sick. Knowing Zack, he'll take that as an invitation to your bed. But I guess you've made up your mind. Go, have a good time. And good luck, you'll need it. Hmm. So wrong. Oh. Okay, well, that's the end of the chapter then. I wanted to go to the border house. I, I couldn't remember where we go to finish the chapter. Yes, that was what we did. Oh, God. Headache. I didn't really have that much to drink, did I? No. But I did travel through a shift into a parallel universe, which would explain this weird compulsion to curl up into a fetal position and go back to sleep. Yeah, that'll Not do that it. Not that I'm particularly looking forward to it, but I guess I have to go find that Warren guy Cortez told me about. Right, down that's what we need to Street. do. We need to find okay. the kid that did the painting. If that's not enough. I have to avoid bumping into Zack today. Last night's, um, uh, date is not something any of us should be reminded of, and I'm not just talking about the incident with the groping and me kicking him in the groin. Ooh. Doesn't he get that no means Ooh. no? Ooh, good on you, girl. Good on you, yes. And groin kick. That's what I'm talking about. He's probably already in the hallway though, right? Oh yeah, there he is, literally camping outside the door, the shithead. What the fuck was your glitch last night, bitch? Wow. I'm sorry? What did you call me? I take you to a top class club, wine you and dine you, and you slap me in the fucking face? Did you ask yourself why I slapped you, Zack? I don't fucking care. You'll regret fucking with me, bitch. I can promise you that. I'd call you a bastard if I didn't think you'd take it as a compliment. If I wasn't such a fucking nice guy, I'd smash your fucking face in, bitch. You're gonna be so fucking Ow. sorry you ever fucked with me, April fucking Ryan. Ow, this guy. Oh. Felix, hello, I'm Bell Sunflower. How are you guys today? Came in on a bitchin'. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. How are you guys today? Hope you do, hope you're both doing well. So yeah, uh, we had to go on a date with Zach to get that information. And wow, cap his ass. <laughs> Damn right. Um, yeah, we literally just got started for those people who are just popping in today. Um, we've not really done anything other than transition to a new day, and we had to go and honor our date with Zack. You could choose not to, you could also go to the cafe and sit down and watch a show instead, but I chose instead to honor the date. You're working, oh no! <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing good, thank you guys. I'm not too bad at all, had a bit of a headache this morning, I've been very dehydrated lately. Can, uh, is Charlie ever going to be in his apartment? He's probably always working, right? Nobody home. No, he's, he's working. Anything on here? Went to a floating capsule thinking about adding it to your monthly routine. Oh yeah, I asked about that in the Discord, Felix. Is that like a sensory deprivation thing? You know, where you sit in like a big plastic pod uh, that's filled with water and you just kind of float there? Yeah, it's one of those. Ah, cool. Uh, I guess there's nothing new on here. Okay. Let's go. So we need to go and find this kid, that Warren Watts' face, that uh, did the, uh, the depressing painting over at the gallery. In the darkness with the water. Yeah, I've seen about those. Well, let's go to the cafe first. And tons of thoughts. That's kind of the point, isn't it? Like, you, it's... 
One of those existential dread machines where it's like you've got nowhere to hide from yourself. <laughs> you you sit here and you think about shit now. There's nothing else to do. Is this guy ever not working? Say it, but I don't have time to talk to Charlie right now. Oh, okay. Is there anyone else in here we can talk to first? Nope. All right. So what was the name of the kid? Warren Hughes, wasn't it? And he's apparently lives in like the worst part of town. That's gonna be fun. What about the blue screen of death I had? Yeah, I don't know why that happened. I opened up OBS. And as it was loading, um, I pushed a button on my stream deck and the whole computer just locked up and blue screened. And I was like, okay, that's a bit worrying. But it's fine now. Just rebooted. So I think something just locked up real quick. Maybe it just didn't like the stream deck being activated at the same time as it was trying to load OBS and it just went a little wiggy. Gotta love windows, damn right. <clears throat> Only because we have no other choice, though. <laughs> Let's be honest. Could have been uh, writing into registry. Probably, yeah. Uh, it's just one of those things where it's just like, and, oh god, I don't understand what I need to do, you know. Pretty sad, think it will change though. Yeah, one day, you never know, there could be some actual Windows beta out there. Radio power, shall we, oh yeah, 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 I wanna go back here. Will it let me go into the alleyway and retrieve uh, Constable Guybrush? Cause we left him behind. The game forced us out of this area after talking to Cortez. Hey. Here we go. Hey, there we go. Let me get him. Come here. You don't get thrown out with the trash, Mr. Monkey. Or Mr. Ape, rather, since he doesn't like being called a monkey. There's a push for game devs to support a Linux-based systems because of the rise in cloud gaming services like Stadia and Nvidia's thing. Oh, really? Interesting. I mean, if it makes it easier for them to develop on those platforms as well, and increase opportunities for people to get into gaming? Why not, indeed? You never know when a clapping monkey is gonna come in handy. Those servers run online for performance reasons. Yeah, that's right. Most servers do. Like, it's surprising how many Windows games which have an online component are connecting to a Linux server. <laughs> Just because it's less uh, resource intensive. Alright, let's go here. Whoa, okay. <laughs> These guys uh I think he's in trouble. Yeah, he's in trouble. The boss man. From his uniform, I'd say he's one of the West Side Kings. They got recruitment posters all over town. Looks like he knows how to use that steel pipe. Mm-hmm. She's gone. Oh yeah, she's gone alright. She's gone. She's still there, but she's gone. Gas or water mains, perhaps. Or Ugh, sewer pipes. That would explain the smell. Yeah. So that's the cathedral. Apparently we needed to talk to a, a guy at, uh, like a reverend, so he's probably there. But yeah, for you guys just tuning in, you'll notice that the uh, subtitles are fixed. And so are the menus, for the most part. That's it, yeah, no more ellipsises unless they're actually there intentionally this time. Pretty. And considering the neighborhood, it's a miracle that it's still intact. Maybe it's bulletproof stained glass designed for inner city cathedrals. <laughs> bulletproof stained glass. Wow. I wonder how they light those candles. Do they have ladders? Or jetpacks? That's a funky idea. Priests with rockets on their backs. That would give a whole new dimension to evening services. Rocket priest. Damn right. 
Anything else we can click? Just gotta click everything, you know. There's confessionals over there, so maybe we have to go that way. But yeah, what I had to do was download a program called FontForge. I had to then load up the font from the um, folder that, that it reads out of in the game directory, back it up first, and then I had to open the font up in FontForge, rescale it down to 80% of its actual size, and then overwrite the uh, the existing font file because you can change it in a in a GUI.ini file in the root directory for the game, but it just ignores all that because the mod is specifically coded to use only those fonts anyway. <laughs> so it's like, well, shit, uh, and there's no way of changing it in a config file. So I had to do that, scaled it down to eight percent, and it worked. But for the menus, I had to overwrite the font that it was forcing itself to use, because when I scaled it down, it didn't get rid of the ellipses, and it's, it went really tiny. So I thought, well, that's no good. So I had to change it to a different font and then scale that down to 90%, and then it worked. It's a priest. It's the confessional. Can we it's go in there? It's been more than two years since my last confession, but no. And some still show up, but they're in proper right places. And with my list of um, shortcomings, I'll be counting beads for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I'm Father Raoul. You're not a Hope Street regular, are you? I haven't seen you here before. I don't visit the neighborhood very often, no. And why should you? It's not a very nice place. This cathedral is all there's left of the hope in Hope Street. I'm sorry to hear that, Father. So am I. But we cope. We cope. How may I be of assistance? I can't see any special fonts under the Thrive picture. Uh, what do you mean? What Thrive picture? You mean on my channel? Below the player? I'm not talking about there. <laughs> I'm talking about inside the actual files in the on, on the computer yeah I'm not talking about that <laughs> no no if I do this sometimes and I'm pointing down that's just a habit I do I don't mean look below me <laughs> sorry it's just a weird habit I have <laughs> like yeah. so yeah you have to go to the folder you know and I'm, I'm I'm imagining a folder in front of me <laughs> so just ignore my weird mannerisms yeah. Do you know a boy named Warren Hughes? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. I love confusing my audience. Oh, it's great. They traveled to the colonies. Poor Warren was left an orphan by his family. I haven't seen him for years. But you guys are easily confused. I mean, mainly because I'm so confusing, I suppose, but I don't know. Do people still go to church? Confused. Yes, some do. <laughs> some do. Religion is pretty resilient. Yes, it just Religion, won't fucking sure. die. There's so many God new damn religions, it. and people tend to abandon the old ones, don't they? They'll be back. The Voltex and the Manus of the world offer only a fleeting chance of material happiness. What they cannot offer is spiritual enlightenment. So or human sacrifice. We have over 2,000 years of experience and tradition to build on. So I don't the see us just rolling over on our backs and giving up. No. Where does Warren live? I'm not sure he lives anywhere. But he does belong to a Hope Street gang, the Razor Blades, I believe. They seem to conjugate just down the street in Building 87. Be careful, though. Although they're far from the worst gang around here, they're not a particularly friendly lot, and they don't care for strangers. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I don't doubt that. Mm. Still, be careful. Need Zack in the growing earlier, so... Thank you, Father. Please come by again if you're ever in the neighborhood. Alright, so... Oh, there's a mural. A it's fresco. a baby angel. A cherub? He's got a red robe wrapped around his posterior, and he looks to be in a hurry. I can't remember reading about this particular incident in the Bible. Maybe it was in the, um... The sequel? The sequel. Nah. That came out only five years ago, and this wall painting looks a lot older than that. What? <laughs> There's an actual sequel? Oh my god. 
The Bible 2. The Revenge of Jesus. in this building apparently. Oh, this is probably him, right? <laughs> it's out of order. It's a boy. He looks to be about 15 or so. Can I talk to you for a minute? You know where I can find a kid named Warren Hughes? Who's asking? Um, I am. Me? Warren Hughes. <clears throat> Never heard of him. What's your name? What's yours? April Ryan. Lucky you. All right, well, I guess you can't help me. Nope. Nobody can. Wow, that's what do you deep. Mean? A nice, pretty girl like you in a neighborhood like this, asking all the wrong questions. You're heading for some serious trouble, you know. I can take care of myself. Mm-hmm. Sure you can. The thing is, there are four guys waiting downstairs for you to come back out, and they can take care of themselves real good. I'm not looking for trouble. Trouble found you, girl. I don't have any money. You think I want your money? Shit, you can keep your damn money. Just because I live in the project oh, don't there's one. Thief, you know. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Of course but I fixed it. And people never do. What do you want from me? I should have asked you the same question. Except I don't care. You should have thought twice before coming after me. After you? I didn't come... So you're Warren. What? Like you didn't know? No. Cortez told me your name, where to find you, but... Hold on. Cortez? Old Spanish talking dude. Real crazy in the head? Sounds That's like him. description, yeah. Shit. You're not a cop. Social services? You're corporate? No, no. I'm a... A friend of Cortez. He said to look you up. I haven't seen Cortez in a while. Not since before. So what does Senior Cortez want with me? We need some help. What kind of help? Look, I gotta stay incognito most of the time now that corporates and cops are stepping up their search for us. I can't go risking my ass for nobody. Not even Cortez. That's alright, I just need some information on a group called the Vanguard and their leader, Jacob McAllen. Oh, sorry. Never heard of those guys. You wouldn't have. They keep to themselves, and they got some kind of cover operation going, but I don't know what it is, and... You want... need to find out? All right, here's the thing. I got a friend who might be able to help you out. Great! Hold on. Before I use up my favors with him, I need you to do me a favor in return. Probably even help yourself out at the same time. Fair enough. What do I have to do? Easy. Break into the Newport Police Department computer archives. Get me some information on my family. Destroy my criminal record and get the hell out of there. Preferably alive. Uh huh. Is that all? Okay. Well, why didn't you say so? Can I pick you up a McDonald's on the way back too? You want me to risk my life for a personal favor? If you don't do this for me, I won't help you out. Besides, there's probably some information on the. Vanguards, was it? In the archives. And that information will be valuable to my friend if he's going to help you out. Hmm. Okay. I'll do it. Smart decision. So here's the thing. My dad doped out on raps and seduced by commercials. Sold out our whole family to the shiny, happy colonization program for a lifetime supply of the big R. The Rapture. He neglected to ask his lovely wife and children, and the corpus didn't care. One day they came to pick up my mom, my sister, and me. I got away though, snuck out the window, and I spent the next two weeks in a dumpster. Oh. And your family? And that's just it. I don't know. Off to the colonies, of course, but which one? I don't know. Sometimes they split up families too. You know, they don't tell you that in their ads. I don't give a shit about my dad, and my mom, she's tough. She can take care of herself, but... I want my sister back. We were real tight. I'm not gonna let him use her in the mines and factories out there. 
So, you want me to find out where they took your sister? bugging you? Yeah. That's it. You're catching on. You do that for me, and delete my criminal record at the same time and get them damn corporates off my ass. I'll give you all the help you need. Hmm. Where's the police station? Take the subway to Metro West. You'll come out on what they call Cop Street. You'll see the NPD headquarters down the block. You can't miss it. I'd better get going. Be cool, eh? I get the feeling we're coming up to a part where I used to end up encountering a bug. Oh boy. So hopefully this does fix the bugs, because apparently this fixed several, like, progress-breaking bugs, uh, this HD mod. So, subway. Uh, where did he say we needed to go? Metro West, was it? Yeah. Another unfortunate victim of the Anglo-Pacific Wars of the 90s. Roadblock. It's your garden variety robotic roadblock. You see them all over this pothole infested town. There's a small control panel on it. The display reads 3018. Uh-huh. Gotta remember having to do something with that at some point. Remember why. It says Calavera Crossing MCW, and the street ID number is 0092. Oh yeah, the it's garbage automated truck. automated garbage truck. They crisscross the town emptying containers and running people over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Running people over. I do all my grocery shopping at T-Rex. Not that their food is particularly good, nor their price is particularly low. I just love their ads. They're tray cool. Especially the one where they built an actual-sized robot dinosaur and sent it out to mangle a competing chain of grocery stores. What? For real. Oh, that's cool. I don't cool. know if anybody got hurt, but man, that campaign kicked ass. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Love it. Yeah. What's this street sign? It says Threadbare Lane, MCW, and the street ID number is 3018. So that's the same as what was on there, wasn't it? Yeah. Anything else we can click on? Nope. Okay. Built a huge robot T-Rex and sent it out to destroy the competition stores. I'd shop at that supermarket as well, let's be honest. Okay. This is Lucinda Carlisle reporting live from just outside the Metro Precinct Police Station. And I bring you today a senseless and tragic display of technology gone wrong. There we are. In the carnage Hi, you see behind me, medical drones are digging through the rubble of a crashed shuttle for the remains of over 100 people who lost their lives today in an accident. That could and should have been prevented. Only hours ago, We're on a brave TV. New World Airlines shuttle carrying starry eyed colonists to the Metro Tower experienced an engine <laughs> failure and came roaring down on this street without warning, crushing three cars and burying nine innocent pedestrians and two would be carjackers. The cause of this human tragedy? As of yet, there is no official report. We can only speculate, and speculate we will. Was the pilot drunk? Was he hopped up on Amethyn? Was someone aboard carrying a bomb? Did the manufacturers of the shuttle, Monster Limited, skimp on a part and import it from a bootleg factory in Germany? The truth could be any or all of the above. That was oddly specific for a whatever speculation. And whatever the punishment, it won't bring any of those bloody, mangled corpses to life. It won't bring Teresa Roseman, mother of three, back to her husband, Marty. That loss is forever. And a huge cash settlement can only ease the pain. It can never remove it altogether. Only expensive brain surgery or personality modification through proprietary drugs can do that. Mm. The exact death count 
is still under wraps. And work will continue throughout the day to identify the thousands of body parts that are being picked one by one from the twisted wreckage. She's really of laying on thick, isn't she? Shuttle 709. What repercussions will this accident have on our city? Probably none. You fly a shuttle, you take your chances. This is Lucinda Carlisle, reporting live for the Metro Channel Action News. Back to you, Lisa and Dan. Are we clear? How did I do? Uh-huh. And what are the ratings? Five million? That's it? Five million? Jesus, we've lost out to reruns of Gillian's Island? What the fuck, Gregory? Why the hell did you... Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give me any of that shit. You were the one who said this would broaden my audience. I, I, I should have stuck with the game shows. Jesus! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I think she's a bit angry. What do you guys think? Where are my ratings? I should have stuck with the game shows. It's a police officer. He's guarding the wreckage. It's a high voltage laser perimeter fence. The color indicates that they're using military grade lasers. Anything around here we can grab? I mean, there's a thing there, look. Want it. If I'm not completely mistaken, and if I remember my tech classes correctly, that's an anti gravity control unit. It looks fully intact. We need it. I don't know why, but I think we need it now. I can't pass through the fence without setting off the alarm. Or worse, getting fried by that military-grade laser. Yeah, don't get fried by the military-grade laser. Hello, officer. Hello. There is nothing to see here. Oh, really? Except for that crashed hovercraft. Nah. You see those everywhere these days. Sorry? Dime a dozen. Crashed hovercraft are a dime a dozen? Fifteen a week, ma'am. At the very least. In this city alone. Whoa! Okay, yeah, now we're getting on one of those. Mode of transportation available. Statistically, yes. Unless you're aboard one of the buggers. Then your chance of survival drops drastically. What? They're the safest mode of transportation. If you stay on the ground. The chances of being hit by one going down are relatively low. <laughs> Thanks well for then. ruining my trust in modern technology. We're here to protect and serve. Isn't it the other way around? Just keep it moving, ma'am. Nothing to see here. Except for you, officer. Wink. Wink. Me? I always did love a man in a uniform. Sorry, ma'am, but I'm gay. Ah! Now, move along. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Except for the escaped convict right behind you. I'm on special duty today, ma'am. So that escaped convict will have to take care of himself. After all, who'd guard this perimeter in my absence? Uh, Truly a dedicated me? police I'll officer. Be good. That was a rhetorical question, ma'am. You are not qualified. Now, move along. That pause. To see here. Perfect. You are not Except... qualified. I'll tell you again, so move along. There is absolutely nothing to see here. Nothing. Jeez, don't you people have anything better to do? <laughs> you got a bad cough Are you there. Feeling all right, officer? Do you have COVID? Thank you, ma'am. I'm fine. All the dust from the debris is just choking me up. <laughs> okay, well. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, we could for him a sweetie, maybe. No, he doesn't want one. Okay. Can I play him the flute? No. What if I just did it? I swear to God, if that gets a reaction. Nah. <laughs> Alright, well, never mind. Yeah, this is usually where I encounter the bug. Let's see if it happens. Oh, thank God it hasn't. Good. Okay, so originally, when I played this game, it didn't have this bug, but once I upgraded to a Windows XP machine or anything beyond that, this police officer never spawned. You could hear him walking around, but you couldn't interact with him. He was invisible. So, yeah. Hey, Falak! <laughs> 
Nothing speaks get the fuck out as cocking one's gun, just like that, yeah. Get on! Newport Police Department. It's a holographic sign. So, yeah, I needed to download a patch to fix that. But apparently I don't need to with this. Hey! Ah! Oh my god. How do I get into the station? That is the question, is it not? Oh god, this guy. Pardon? To get in or not to get in? That is the question. No, that's not how it goes. Good grief, more weirdos. No, I'm not a weirdo. I'm an actor. No offense, but isn't that an oxymoron? Lady, you are the cruelest she alive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Our things, I'm good, thanks, Thalak. How are you? Hope you're, uh, hope you're doing well. A reaper's on the loose. Yeah. Pesky reapers. Had a bit of a headache this morning. I've been very dehydrated lately. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, I went out today, actually, to, uh, because today is the first day in the UK that lots of non-essential shops are due to open again. They're all being allowed to open up lockdown measures have just been gradually, uh, like, brought, like, rolled back. God, the traffic getting into town was manic. I had to go to a print shop and drop something off. Um, I'll be picking it up in a couple of days, but, oh my god, I did not want to go anywhere near the town centre. Ooh. Can't wait for the weekend to start, though. <laughs> it's Monday, dude. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. How do I get into the station? You don't. Not today. Oh? But I need to get in. What if there's been a crime? Don't remind me. I guess you need to report it via one of the many kiosks installed throughout the city, or by contacting an officer of the law. Like yourself? I am but a humble servant of Her Majesty. And I'm actually assigned to Vice, so don't bother. Uh -huh. Any chance you'll let me through? Shower me with sweet forgiveness, Princess, but unfortunately, I cannot. The doors ain't working. <laughs> the doors aren't working? They're not. Good Lord, I must report this immediately, after I'm done with my policing exercise. Uh-huh. Did you say the doors weren't working? Ah, correct. The only things getting in and out of the station today are police officers, prisoners, and garbage. Aren't they all pretty much one and the same thing? Cutting words from a wench's barbed mouth? Wow! What did you call me? Hmm, sweet princess. That's more like it. How are you able to bring garbage out and prisoners in when the doors are broken? These doors don't work, but the gate downstairs does, of course. You can only get through that inside of a vehicle. The security measures are quite extreme. Why cow extreme? Can you say radiation poisoning? Ooh. Key. So this whole tunnel is just flooded with radiation. Why were you parading back and forth like that? A bit much. I'm practicing the fine art policing. It doesn't look like policing, it looks like acting. Bollocks! And I thought I was making progress. Bollocks. Maybe if you tried being a little less... rigid? Yeah, but it's this bloody suit! It makes everyone move the same way. I'm not able to release the character. Are you an actor? Or a cop? Both, darling. Both! I am an actor, but I will portray an officer of the law in my next motion picture. It's called Mad Cop 2. I play the Mad Cop's friend, the somewhat ticked off cop. I think I saw the first one. It stunk. I agree. But this one has a certain uh, je ne sais quoi, flair that the original lacked. You mean more violence, more sex, less plot. That's it. There you go, that'll do it. That'll fix any movie. <clears throat> you don't see bollocks used often enough in games. Exactly, yeah. I, I agree. So you're doing research for your next role? Or even in speech in general. Indeed, my fair maiden, I am. I have been assigned to a squad to capture the essence of Her Majesty's honorable service. And what squad would that be? Vice. 
The ellipses are back. Uh, only where they're appropriate now. But th there was one instance, I've only seen one where actual letters got replaced with dots. Uh, but sometimes they will show up when it's actually in the speech. So it's not actually removing anything in, in their place. Because that was the problem was it would be like, you know, sometimes it might say garbage and there'll be like three dots instead of there being the G and the A. So it stopped doing that for the most part, but I've only, I've seen one instance where it did change the letters. So maybe I need to reduce the font size a little bit more, but I'm going to have to wait till after the stream to do that because it take I have to load into a different stuff to do it. Thanks and good luck. Ah, uh, parting is such sweet sorrow. Farewell, princess. Till we meet again. But some of them are actually properly in use now, so. Newport Police Department. It's a holographic sign. Yeah, this door's broken and we can't get Doors it. Are closed. So we can get in the garbage truck. And a garbage truck does come along here. That's the automated garbage truck. There it goes into the police station. So, oh, what was the what was the street sign number? I've forgotten. It. We need to block the street off. I think. If I remember correctly. It says Calavera Crossing MCW, and the street ID number is double zero ninety two. Wait, what? And me in my favorite shirt. Hey, is that a fermin? Oh, oh did we jump no. in the dumpster? Ugh. Dead rat. I'm not gonna check out that other mitten in the corner. I think it just moved. Oh, no, 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 no. How utterly, utterly pointless is this? And I'm starting to read a little of crap, too. Oh, the crap, you. Alright, so we can get in there, at the very least. Right, that's a container. I thought we were manipulating the, the barricade. And it's mostly empty, save for a couple of sticky old newspapers and bottles. Yeah, so we need to manipulate the roadblock. Yeah, oh the crap. Perhaps if I try entering the idea of the intersecting street, the roadblock will move. Oh, she does it automatically. Okay, that's good. Hey. Now we've blocked off the other street. Oh, and that just ran through it, but whatever. And I think we get in the garbage container, and another truck comes down and takes it. I think. There we go! Oh, okay. Ah, keep it close to yourself. Ah. Ooh, rats. <laughs> Yikes That's again. So gross. The things I do to save the world, I mean that smell, that sticky stuff, the way that rat just wouldn't let go. Disgusting. Oh. Not to mention the fact that I really, truly stink. I don't think this is ever coming off. I'm gonna stink like fish heads and moldy pizza for the rest of my sorry life. Mm -hmm. You can usually tell a crook by his eyes and his foul behavior. Tuvok? Tuvok. <laughs> oh my god. Tuvok. Is that guy dead? Tuvok? Oh my god. Our garbage trucks compress the trash with a giant piston. Yeah, I think most do, really. So, yeah, you would not want to try to break into a place by jumping into a garbage truck. You would get squished. 
my extensive knowledge of cop shows, I'd say she's probably the desk sergeant on duty. For some reason, they're always slightly overweight and grumpy. Well, so we got toolbox. It's a toolbox. There's a sheet of paper in here. It's a toolbox. There's a sheet of paper in here. Some kind of requisition form or work order. Okay. Just help ourselves Tom to that, shall we? Corporate Labor <coughs> Union. Form number 09042. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. It's a carbon copy of an old work order. Hmm. The panel is closed. The doors are closed. They don't open manually. <coughs> Completely secured. I can't open it. This phone, zero nine nine one two zero nine zero. We're gonna have to do some hijinks with this, aren't we? It's an old vid phone. Ancient, ancient technology. Officials are so passe. The screen and camera are both out of order. I think. Dial home. I haven't spoken with mom since I, since I left actually. Ooh. I should give her a ring. Hello. Hi, mom. It's April. How are you? Video beyond the silver frigging screen. I don't know. In the city, Mom, you know that. Why didn't you call? We've been. <laughs> I've been worried sick about you, sweetheart. Didn't you get my letter? Yes, and I can't say I understand why. Well, that was the problem, wasn't it? You didn't understand. I don't think it was fair of you to be so hard on your father. You hurt him a lot, you know? <laughs> and I'm not just talking about you pushing him down the stairs. Whoa. And what about me? You don't think he hurt me? Were you so blind you didn't see that? April, you know I can't take sides in this. <laughs> no. Of course not. Not you. Not ever. Anyway, how is... Is Dad doing okay? I mean, after the fall. He broke his arm, and he had to take some time off work. Money short because of that. We had to pull Danny out of school until next semester. You can't blame me for those things, Mom. <coughs> if you hadn't left like you did... I'd probably be dead now, Mom. I couldn't take it anymore. Please, let's not argue about this now. I just wanted to... I just wanted to hear your voice. Please come home, April. We still love you. No. Thank you, but no. That's not gonna happen. Listen, I have to go. I'm in the middle of... something. Take care, okay? Okay, sweetheart. I love you. Yeah, me too, Mom. Bye. Oof. Well then. It's a, um, portly <laughs> fellow wearing red coveralls. I think he's a repairman. <laughs> It's a thin guy wearing red coveralls. He looks like a repairman. Well, let's go talk to the desk sergeant first. We need to uh, come in here and falsify some records. Is that okay? Where do I go? What form do I have to fill in for that? <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, what can I do for you? Where are the archives? The archives? You're not an officer of the law, are you? <coughs> Ooh. I'm in training at the academy, and I need to get into the archives to study. You're in training? Uh-huh. Sure you are. Then what the hell you doing here? You should be at the academy doing push-ups and learning how to bullshit like a pro. Yeah. About the archives. You're not an officer of the law, are you? Yes, yes I am. If you're a cop, where the hell's your uniform? Your badge? Undercover. Your standard issue disruptor pistol. At home. <laughs> They're all at home. 
Then I suggest you get your cute little butt home and get your badge, your uniform, and your gun. Capiche? Now, shoo, leave the grown-ups to do the grown-up work, okay? Hmm. Thanks anyway. <laughs> so we need to break in there. But the door might be busted, right? Seems to be the gist we're getting. Dapus, hello. How are you? Hi. What do you want? We're on our lunch break, honey. <laughs> how do I smell? Excuse me. <laughs> Gotta do how it. How do I smell? Smell? Are you coming on to me, honey? Oh, uh, no. What? God, no. I don't know. Women don't usually come on to me, so I'm I'm just checking. I wouldn't want to miss a come on. <laughs> I asked you wow. how I smelled. Yeah, right. Um, like, uh, moldy pizza and, um, is that salmon? Smoked. Ah. Yeah. And a faint touch of rum? I had an accident with a bottle inside a garbage container. Happens to Had to use the bottle the to fight off a rat. You're not alone. In fact, there are meetings downtown every Wednesday night. I don't have a drinking problem. <laughs> if you can't admit it to yourself, honey, you do. Yes. After all, who's the one reeking around? See, there's one not that's me, broken that's still. For sure. <laughs> not today, anyway. Oh, damn it. Enjoy your lunch break, guys. With the Sunday overtime we're getting, you betcha, honey. But yeah, it seems to be like one in every kind of hundred messages we have broken text. Okay, well that guy. Hiya. No good. Huh? You an angel from heaven come to take me away? Uh huh. No point talking to old Georgie there. Ever since he overdosed on raptures, he ain't been right in the head. I don't ever let him hold the hammer no more either, I'll tell you that. Or maybe he's the only one who's right in the head. Mm hmm. Have you ever thought about that? Hey, Freya. <laughs> Explain the plot so far. Okay, so after the last stream, uh, well, overall, the balance between the world of magic and the world of logic is breaking. And the two different worlds that used to be one are now bleeding back together. And strange things are happening in this world, the technology world, Stark. Um, and there's a sort of an Illuminati group called the um, the Vanguard, who are posing as a church called the Church of Voltec. They were originally the guardians on this side of the divide that were supposed to look after the balance between these two worlds. However, they now want to reunify the world. They've had enough of this, like, living in obscurity, because in this world you can't go around telling people, oh yes, we used magic to break the two worlds apart, where science and technology used to exist in one, and now they're two separate worlds, because it just doesn't make any sense in the world of logic and rationality. But in the magic world, Arcadia, they can tell about that all day long, because it makes sense to them. So, we've been to the magic world, with the help of a homeless guy called Cortez, and then we came back, so he could show us that it was all real, and he's not crazy. Um, and the April is apparently a shifter who can move between the worlds, but we haven't figured out how to use her power yet. So he told us when we got back we needed to go and find a guy called Warren Hughes, a kid over in like the projects who was an artist as well. He really likes art and he, he painted a picture and Cortez hangs around with him. He's going to help us find the uh, the Church of Voltec Vanguard leadership, you know, and we, what we need to do is recover fragments of a disc and four gems. There are, there are four fragments of the disc, I think, and there are four gems in order to repair the balance. And once we've got those, all good. But we also need to find a new guardian, a person that sits in the tower and, and controls the flow of magic and logic to the different realms that they're needed to be. So that's what we're up to right now. Uh, when we found Warren, he told us to come to the police headquarters and we need to uh, like delete his criminal record from the archives. We also need to find out some information about where his family went because his dad sold them all to the corporation uh, to, like, go to an off-world colony. But then, of course, they split families up and send them anywhere, you know. So he wants to find out where his sister went. He doesn't give a shit about his dad. He hated his dad. His mom's tough, so she can handle herself, but he wants his sister back. So we're at the police station. We're just trying to figure out now how to get into the archive room. It's me again. <sighs> Enjoy your lunch break, guys. 
With the Sunday overtime we're getting? You betcha, honey. Hmm. Okay. So I don't know exactly what we're supposed to do. Can I talk to these people? Let's talk to the sergeant again, see if there's anything else we can do. You're welcome for the catch-up. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? Having a hard time plugging your headset into the screen so you could hear the stream better. <laughs> nice. I'm doing well, thank you, Dapes. I had a headache earlier, but it's easing a little bit. About the archives. You're not an officer of the law, are you? And James is playing so guitar in the not? background. Nice. Then you can't go into the back, capiche? Cops only. Besides, half the doors in this building, including that one, oh. are out of order. Nobody's going in, nobody's coming out. This station is falling apart. And until apart. those overpaid, underworking service guys get off their butts and back to work, that's the way it's gonna stay. Thanks anyway. <laughs> hmm. So we know the door's broken. Maybe now we can tell him to get up and fix that frigging door. It's me again. <sighs> Why are you guys working? We're on our contractually bound lunch break. Uh huh. Right. But you're not eating. So? We're done eating, sure. But we're still on our break. Clause 16 of the contract, and I quote, improper digestion may prove detrimental to further work-related activities. End quote. Meaning what? We're letting the corned beef settle, honey. Nice. Aren't you supposed to fix the doors? That's right. But instead, you're just... sitting here. That's right. And you're not planning on getting back to work anytime soon? <laughs> That's right. And you're not bothered by this? That's right. I could say anything, anything at all. That's right. <laughs> and you just answer? That's right. Well, how's that for productivity? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> It'd be so nice if you could fix the doors. And it would be so nice if you could go away and leave us alone. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to make you go back to work? No, short of emergency, we ain't moving our asses in the foreseeable future. What constitutes an emergency? Any event accompanied by a specific work order signed in triplicate. <laughs> what kind of work order? Ah, <coughs> you know. No. <laughs> About the work order... Yeah? Which one? You know, for emergencies. You mean the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form? We just happen to have one uh, of those. Uh, sure. Well, if you were to produce said requisition with the appropriate signatures, we'd be forced to prematurely suspend our lunch break, for tactical reasons, of course. <laughs> tactical lunch break Thus suspension. Thus allowing our scheduled work to be completed. Don't you just love bureaucracy? You what? You what? Never mind. What kind of rocks? Where do I go to get the requisition form? What form? The requisition form for the short-term tactical suspension of... Uh... Of union member benefits. Any official office for which we perform services. Enjoy your lunch break, guys. With the Sunday overtime we're getting? You betcha, honey. <laughs> so we have one of those, but it's an old one, right? Bokama Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. It's a carbon copy of an old work order. I mean, maybe presenting this to order him? That's the um, portly guy was talking about. <laughs> you know, maybe it will fool him, but I don't know. I feel like we have to do something to it. What is that? Oh, that's my delivery list, right. That's the requisition from last week. Yeah. What a horrible experience that was. I pray each and every night that we'll never have to sacrifice our lunch break again. You keep it, okay? Seeing that form again sickens me. Oh, how dramatic he got. Oh, no. That sickens me. Uh, maybe she can get me a fresh copy. 
I show it to her? No. Hmm. Where would we get a new one? Is there anything else in the toolbox we can take? It's a toolbox. No, that seems to be it. Uh, that won't open. That needs fixing, so I guess that fixes it. Um... There's no way I'm going back down into the basement. I'd rather be rolled out of here on a gurney with my body wrapped in black plastic. Mm hmm Yep. So, yeah. How do we... What do we do with this? Maybe we have to combine it with something else. No. This is the key Bokama to it. Bokama Mercer Corporate Labor Union. Form number 09042. <laughs> Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. And it's we can't go anywhere, anywhere else. That's the work order the, um... Portly guy was talking about. Yeah, we can't go anywhere else, so we must have everything we need in here, right? Doors are closed. This phone, 099 <laughs> So if we try to dial its own phone, that won't work, I guess. Busy. What a surprise. Just my incoming call. This phone, zero nine nine one two. It's a repairman. It's me again. Can I tell him this is his? Enjoy your lunch break, guys. Oh. With the Sunday overtime we're getting, you betcha, honey. Try that again. I don't know if this is going to achieve anything, but it seems like if we've got the ability to call the other vid screen from this one... It's a repairman. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? Oh! I need a requisition form number 09042. Short-term <laughs> tactical suspension of union members' benefits. Okay, we could just do this. <sighs> Hold on. You did say you can get it from any office where they provide services, and they provide a service to this office, so yes, that makes sense. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, dude, take your finger out of your... Oh, Here you go, miss. Jesus, look at him. Union requisition form number 09042. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Hello, Internet. Yes, this is Dog. <laughs> All right, so we've got one. But it doesn't have signatures on it. Bokamba Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042. Short term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. No, this is Patrick. The blank. So, can I do something with this to. like, transfer the signatures or what? But that way, does it? Um, hmm. Let me get this to do. We forge it, yes. But how? Use the ring to rub it. Hmm. The one ring, yes. Can I get her to sign it? I don't know how that works. No. I mean, obviously, if I show him the form... I better forge... Oh, uh, fill out this work order first. Yeah, <laughs> better forge up. Oh, no, fill it out. Oh, she's gonna now do that. Okay, right. Fix the damn doors. Sign the commish. The commish. Yeah. Is that gonna work? <laughs> the one ring to rule them all. The one ring to get these guys to get off their fat asses and do some work. Is what this is. Now we're set. Get on with What's it. this? Oh, just a jolly little requisition entitled Short-Term Tactical Suspension of Union Members' Benefits. Say what? 
Lady, do you realize what you've just done? I am personally you've attacked. Interrupted our lunch break. <gasps> this is an official work order. It can't be. Wait. Oh, you're zero joking. Zero nine zero four two. This isn't zero nine zero four two dash A, <laughs> is it? Uh, no. Just plain old oh nine oh four two dash nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! This being Sunday and all, that petition is useless. On public holidays, you need the extension dash A form. Addendum for public holidays. Us being on triple overtime and all. So? So, we're gonna stay here and enjoy our extended break. Thank you very much. Now go away. Give mm. <laughs> me the right form Man. this time. You again, what do you want now? I'm sorry, but I need the 09042-A requisition form addendum as well. The what? The 09042-A? Why the hell didn't you ask me for that one in the first place? <coughs> because I'm a cruel bitch and I love torturing you. In fact, I've made it my life's mission to haunt you forever and ever with requests for useless forms and documents. Hmm. Holds on. Man. All right, requisition form number 09042-A. And that better be it. And if it isn't, then what? <laughs> Bokamba Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042-A. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. Public holiday addendum. Now get on with it. Okay, now we're set. I hope. Why do you keep bothering us? Don't you have anything better to do? Nope. No, absolutely not. This is requisition form number 09042-A, the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form with the public holiday addendum. Ba -ba. Balls. We've been nailed, George. Get your ass off the chair. We're going back to work, thanks to this lovely young lady. <coughs> All right, so now they need to get the door fixed. <laughs> At least they're doing something, even if it's just staring at the panel. The panel is open and some wires are hanging out. At least they're doing something, even if it's just staring at the doors are closed. Hmm. <laughs> they're walking. <laughs> It'll probably take two seconds to fix it, yeah. Or not. I mean, you know, they are just kind of... Are you guys going to be done soon? Hey, who knows? This is complicated stuff, honey. Uh-huh. Good to see you up and about, George. Mister, mister, <laughs> the plane, the plane. The plane, dude. Oh my God, the plane. All right. Hey, uh, anything else we can do Excuse with her? Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> you again, what do you want now? Thanks anyway. No. So, I think now is when I do this. <laughs> and I think I get them both calling each other. Hey, there's a phone call for you. For me? Who is it? I think it might be union business. <laughs> Out of my way, lady! <laughs> It's disturbing Good how his trousers are moving. George. The ants, they're everywhere. There are ants in my pants. <laughs> There's a call for you too, sir. Here we go. Me? 
I get no calls ever. Except from my mommy. Is it my mommy? Uh, it could very well be your mommy. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <coughs> now while they're doing that, I fix this for Long them. Shot, but if I try to cross these wires... Hey! Nice. So good. In we go. Hey, you can't go back there. It's a restricted area. <coughs> Shit. I need to distract her. But how? I need that form that's all the way up Excuse there. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> you again. What do you want now? Thanks anyway. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. What's the most difficult there we go. form to get a hold of? <coughs> The label on that shelf says reporting indecent or lewd behavior by bingo or BM personnel, number 31366. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? Another form. I'd like that form for complaining about lewd and indecent behavior, please. Number 31366. Hold on. Now, go do this. Oh my god, she's climbing up the shelf. <laughs> Ooh, soda machine. Nice. That looks like the computer room. Archives. Bingo. The world's favorite soda. And after the devastating soda wars of 2159, the world's only soda. Oh my god, it's like Taco Bell. All the restaurants are Taco Bell after the franchise wars. Considering the fact that I'm inside a police station, it might be prudent to pay for the soda first. A Starly! How's it going? Alright, so we can use our credit chip. Let's hey. see. Cola, lemon, lime, lemon lime, strawberry, strawberry lime, strawberry cola, cherry cola. Yuck! What do you mean, yuck? Go with the old standby. Bingo classic. Cherry cola is awesome. Boring, but safe. Yes. Bring your Doritos. And is that a pot pie or something? What is that? I can't make that out. All right. So. Archives. That's the archive room. What is that one? Locker room. Okay. That's a retinal scanner. It's a retinal scanner. Instantly outdated by the genetic scanner. But I guess here they don't care. I'm guessing. I don't think so. The security feedback will probably fry my eyeballs. Uh huh. Okay. Can we go to the locker room and find an ID card or something? Oh. It's occupied. Hi. Who's in there? Oh, I know who this is. Manoli. Who's asking? It's the cop! God, I know that It's cop. the cop from the theater. <laughs> Who are you? Agent Scully. Agent Scully, FBI. You'll be wanting the chief's office then. That's down the hall. Oh my God, babe. Oh, we ruined this poor guy's entire life and his friggin' digestive system. Uh, <laughs> someone is struggling. Mm hmm. <laughs> Good, changed around your room. You got your Xbox where uh, they were before in the room, so there's uh, more open air to vent. Nice, good stuff. Sometimes moving stuff around really works out, doesn't it? Just what did we do to the poor guy? Well, we gave him a sweet that we dipped in some gunk that was in the gutter in the street. Yeah, we did that. Hello? Who is it? Pizza delivery. Oh, God, don't mention pizza. Christ. <laughs> Sergeant Frank Minnelli. Oh, that says locker. Cool. Sergeant Russell Franco. Sergeant Ricky Mahoney. Or as if this is Sergeant Frank Russell. <laughs> Sergeant Maria Hernandez. Sergeant Morty Lowe. Sergeant Anthony McDonald. Hmm. I'm 
<laughs> that savage why yeah we dripped it dipped it in street gunk um he was standing next to a fuse box that like on a, a like where there was a lamp he was doing a stakeout next to a theater and the sign for the theater was constantly flickering and the guy who was sweeping up outside was constantly hitting it with the thing to make it work and there was a locked door to an alleyway so what we needed to do was get the cop away from the fuse box and he was basically just quite happy and content there on his stakeout, you know? Uh, because every time we tried to open the fuse box to destroy the sign, so that the guy outside would then go down the alleyway and into the, uh, like, the maintenance area, um, we needed to get him out of the way, so we gave him a sweet dipped in this gunk. He spat it out, it hit the guy in the head that was sweeping up, and he chased him off. But now it seems that we've destroyed his digestive system. Hello? Who is it? Sergeant Hernandez! Maria, thank God you're here. Listen, I need you to get my stomach medicine from the locker. Here's the key. Oh, God. Oh, cool. He's giving us the locker key. I remember now. Yes, that's what we need to do. And then we use his ID or something. Sergeant Frank Manelli. So that's his locker. So if we use this on the locker. There we go. What have we got? What is the oh. toothbrush? Tummy ooh ah. Fast relief for a runny tummy. We'll give him his medicine. Sergeant Manelli's been banging his locker shut one too many times. Say hello to seven years of bad luck, guy. That oh, sure he makes broke. me feel a whole lot better about harassing him. It's a loose shard of the mirror glass. We should take I'll that. I'll just carefully separate the shard from the mirror. Like so. I'll have to be careful carrying this around. What is this? Archives login. F. Minnelli. Password, wife's birthday. What a smart boy. Real security whiz. That's how you do it, folks. It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. I guess Frankie Boy's using one of those babies. You'd never tell from looking at him. Synthetic eye, but it's not there. All right, well, let's give him his medicine, poor lad. We probably need the eye to open up the archive. Also, the pies from Robbie Knox. Anyone listen to the uh, Jack Mates Happy Hour podcast? No, never heard of it. How are you feeling? Better. A little better. I need it. I think this medicine is flushing out my system a little. Uh. You know what I mean? It's accelerating the natural process. Achoo. Achoo. No need to go any further, sir. Thanks, Maria. Hey, you got a cold or something? You sound different. Yeah, a cold or... I got something, all right. Hmm. The UK comedy uh, podcast on Spotify. Oh, cool. How's I don't really Mrs. listen to any podcasts. Why are you asking? I didn't think it... Oh, hell, Maria, we spoke about this. I told you I... Can't you just let it rest? Oh, man. Uh, sure, sorry. Just... wondering. I wish you wouldn't, Maria. You know how... It is what it is, you know? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so... Yeah. Hmm. About Mrs. Minnelli. God damn it, Marie, I'm on the freaking can, yeah? I was just thinking, maybe I should get her a birthday present. Bit of social engineering right here. Are you nuts? Have you gone completely nuts? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Being nice? Nice! You want Laura to kick me out of my own apartment, is that it? You want my wife to kick me out of the apartment tomorrow? Tomorrow? Your wife's birthday's tomorrow? You're not buying her a present, Maria. Don't even think about it. 
That would be such a big mistake. You don't want to make a mistake like that. Okay, boss. You're the boss. Don't call me boss. And would you leave me alone? I'm not in a sociable mood. Hell, I'm on the can. Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. Hmm. Phew. Jesus, I think I'm allergic to the goddamn medicine. Oh, oh crap, my eye. It's Frank Manelli's synthetic eye. Okay, well, I can grab it. Hey, leave my eye alone. There you are. Back in your slot. Uh. Oh, uh, yuck. So we need to grab the eye somehow. We can't. It's a light switch. Oh, what? Crap, I got something on my, my face? Eye. Is my hair okay? What are you looking at? Yoink! I'll take that. What the hell happened to my... Maria! Maria, did you take my eye? Give it back! Oh, no. Oh. There you are. Back in your slot. Maybe we need to swap the eye. <laughs> oh, my God. Really, oh, maybe? Crap, my eye. No. We need to swap the eye with something. There you are. Back in your slot. 